After learning that Celestia was behind the incident with the Earth Defense Force, I made up my mind to go back to Celestia to ask the Seraph about it directly. The Netherworld, Celestia, the Human World. I never imagined that this war, which involved the entire universe, would come to such an unexpected end. Your mind's made up? Yes. I must speak with the Seraph and find out what has been happening in Celestia. Do you realize that you may have to face him as an enemy? Face Master Lamington as my enemy? He's the head of Celestia, right? We know that someone in Celestia has been helping the EDF. He must have known about it. I agree. I think it's very possible that he's even the mastermind. Wasn't he the one who ordered you to go to the Netherworld in the first place? To assassinate my old man? What? An angel ordering an assassination? That's just wrong. He's guilty without a doubt. Can you say that for sure? I believe in Master Lamington. I see. All right then, let's get going. It's a good opportunity for me to check out the so-called Seraph. I'm going with you. Prince, why don't you just admit it? I'm worried about Flan, so I'm gonna go with her. What's so hard about that, huh? F fool that's far from the truth. Now, now, we all feel the same way, Harley. Jennifer's right. As the defender of Earth, I cannot let my comrade go alone. Beep, beep, bleep, beep. We are comrades. We go together. End of discussion. <laughs> Bunch of fools. Episode, what Lies Beyond the Battle. Hello everybody, it's me, Keys, and welcome back to Let's Play This Gaia DS. Yeah, it's been a while. This Gaia has taken a bit of a hiatus, but that doesn't matter. We're back, and we're back with a vengeance, because this is, well, the final episode. Yeah, that was, I don't know if you count that as a bit of a cliffhanger, but hey. Anyway. As with the start of every chapter, and I guess this is going to be the last time we'll, we'll be doing this, is let's talk to our vassal, eh? What do you have to say, Manti? You're going to Celestia, I hear. Bring back some gifts for us! Idiot. It's not a vacation. Oh, Manti, never change. I also haven't talked to you, Golik. So let's talk to you. The pretties were talking about multiple endings. And endings to what? Shh, Golek. Golek, don't, 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 don't. No spoilers. 
You want to know what happens to people who... Who spoil? Huh? Just don't! Not a good idea! Anyway, and finally, Dratty. Do you have anything murderous to say about... Laharl? You've changed a lot. Doing things for the sake of others. Sh shut up! I only do things for my own sake! Oh, uh, Laharl's... I guess Laharl's being a bit tsundere there, I guess. Anyway, let's talk to... Gorgo here? So if humans can come here, that means that we can go there, right? Hmm. Now, Gorgo! S again! Spoilers! Please! Gorgo, Gorgo, please! You, you and Golak should just stop. Anyway, um, finally, Goss. At last, the final battle. I'll give you a worthy present. Oh, right, 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 right. Goss gives us actually something nice. That's that's perfect. Um, let's head over to Zomi real quick because I don't want to forget about him, like I normally do. So, hello there, Zomi. What will happen in the end, Prince? I can't wait to find out. Oh, oh, no, no, no funny quips from Laharl. Okay, that actually kind of disappoints me, but that's fine. Now, um, I forget. I lost my train of thought. Wow, that is terrible. As you can see, I'm kind of rusty on this, but hey, um, yeah, this is the final episode. Uh, I mean, Final episode, but I mean, final chapter of the game. But yeah, we have talked to everybody, and yeah, there are multiple endings which I shall not discuss further because reasons. But there is one thing we have yet to do that we do at the start of each chapter that we haven't done yet. So anyway, let, let's go on because that's I'm I'm just dilly dallying right now. So let's let's just touch. Huh? What's that on the ground? You found the testament! The king used to use this, but why is it here? I'm the only one who knows how to get in here. Who could have... Nah, it can't be. The cost of betrayal. To get back my memories from Madeiras, I tried to poison the prince, but I couldn't go through with it. I couldn't stand being Madeiras's pawn anymore, and the king's voice was in the back of my mind. So instead, I used the prince to win my memories back from Madeiras. But I tried to poison him. I betrayed him. Even though my memories were stolen, I still broke my promise to the king. King Kurchevskoy, you must be angry with me. And that is Etna's final diary entry. Now if you are playing the um, remakes of Disgaea Hour of Darkness, which is Disgaea DS, Disgaea Afternoon of Darkness, and Disgaea PC, finding that testament is very, very important. But that is something that I will um, touch on later. But hey, we got a testament, and the testament is a really nice item if I can um, show it off. Yeah, <laughs> it is a. Um, it says your treasure, but I think in the later games they're called symbols. But anyway, it's very good, and the diabolic sword is also very good so you want to talk to Goss and hopefully get that testament and to get that testament you have to um, read each chapter of you know Etna's diary before this final chapter so yeah we got it I'm pretty happy with that so who do we give it to do we give it to Thur yeah I think we should give it to Thursday let's replace that um, um, I think that might be an overkill, actually. Who needs it the most? Let's see, I know if I can find, um... 
There you are, there you are, Fier. Diabolic sword definitely goes to you. Look at that. Look at that. That's very, very nice. A thousand attack. <laughs> oh. oh, wow. Oh, shit! She has the highest attack out of anyone. Ooh. Okay. So let's give... I actually don't know who to give this testament to. I... Okay, Etna, Etna. Okay, you are getting the, the testament. Why the hell not? And I guess... Yeah. Yeah, this works. You can get the feather token. Who... Who would want the star orb, though? I don't... Yeah, let's give it to Madeira, so why the hell not? Okay, that works. That works. Now, before we continue on with this episode, I am going to be buying equipment. Mainly because, um... This is the final chapter, and you... You want to be prepared. You, you definitely want to be prepared, so, um... I'll be right back. Okay. That was painful. Um... I, 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 I really kind of hoped that I, <laughs> I could change people's equipment a bit more, but uh, I, I couldn't. I couldn't. So that is a bit worrisome because this, this stage is hard. It is. It is. So let's just continue on and cross our fingers and hope we don't die. Anyway. Hello, Esmeralda. The gate that connects Celestia to the Netherworld. Prince, please be careful. I'm sorry, but I still have to do that accent. I still have to do that accent. Anyway, the Field of Virtue. So, this is the entrance to Celestia. It is said that one of the former Seraphs had this gate constructed to cut off the Netherworld from Celestia. That's why it can only be opened by the residents of Celestia. Hmph, that's not fair. Okay, I'm going to open the gate. Is everybody ready? Bonjour, everyone. It is a pleasure to see you here. Oh, it's you, Mr. Midboss. Weren't you saying earlier that only Celestians can open this gate? Oh, um, that's strange. <laughs> it has been thousands of years since a demon other than moi passed through this gate. Aha! Uh -huh. It's all clear to me now. You're an evil henchman who's been hired by the Seraph. Wrong! I know! You're an angel in disguise! Another wrong answer! You all have very active imaginations. But I, the Dark Adonis, just happen to be passing by. Nothing more. Huh. So, Dark Adonis, why is it that you're in Celestia? I am here to test your resolve. What? From this point on, you will face challenges unlike anything you have experienced before. Whether or not you can emerge victorious, I would like to see with my own eyes. have to do with you? Why do you care? Answer me! 
<laughs> we have talked long enough. Show me what you are capable of. Oh, oh boy. Oh, oh boy. Well, you know when Vire says that we will be facing challenges that we have, well, you know, of which we have never seen before? He... he wasn't lying. Um... Yeah. Yeah, he's level 70! He is level 70. This place is no joke. These guys are level 65. Again, not a joke, but thankfully, thankfully, this stage is an excellent grinding stage. EXP plus 100. Yeah. Yeah, that, I'd, I'd like to say that that's pretty good. Now, I am getting Etna out here because um, she has the best defense out of everyone. So let's, let's do that, have her defend. And... Cross our fingers and hope she lives. That is my strategy for well this stage so far. 144. 146. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Now I suggest we take out these lackeys first, and I think they're all weak to win. Yes? No. Okay. So what we should do. Let me see here. Fier, you have a ton of... of attack. L let me just say that. Like, right off the bat. Um, let's get Sova and Flan out in here. I don't know where they'll be safest. I kind of want to keep them pretty safe, so... Because we need the healing, Lord knows. Oh, jeez. Okay. Okay, we'll blast them with Mega Wind and Wind. How about that? How about that? That seems good to me. Okay, are they resistant to fire? No, but that shouldn't matter because we have Lahar, who, despite not having the title for world's most powerful character now, is still pretty powerful with 600, you know, nearly 700 attacks. So let's see where this goes. 517, not bad. Okay. Oh, that that's bad. That's bad. <laughs> Laharl, please do more damage to that one guy. Please. Bite the dust. He got a two times um you know combo. Uh, that was a bit more weak. I think it's the proper term. Yeah, let's go with that. Weak. Than I expected. So, let's just do... Oh! Oh! Etna's also... Pat. Oh. Okay. So, every... There are... We had... Had... We had had characters that were stronger than Laharl for a while now. Oh. Yeah, Laharl definitely needs a new weapon. Or we could just item world later on. I don't... I don't really know... Which, you know, which one of the two I want to do. But either works. Either either works for me. Um, can we do this? Yes, we can. Okay. This should, this should kill at least one of them. If it doesn't, I'm going to be so mad. Because then Thursday will have to pick up the slack. And I kind of want to save Thursday. Okay, all right, all righty, all right, all righty, Thursday. You you do your thing. Everybody will watch. It'll be fine. It'll be fun. Just kill him, please. <laughs> there you go. Good job. And you're also weak to wind. And nice, Thursday leveled up. 56, that sounds like a job for Megan. Um, but first, let's see how much damage we can pile on that guy. So, let's start off with... 
Um, let's start off with Tim here. But um, I probably won't. I'll probably use him as a finisher. Let's get Fierro. Whoa, I'm getting a bit of slowdown. I have no idea why. That is strange. Um, but first, let's do a. That's a terrible place for her. Let's get Fierro out again. Wind cutter? No. Hurricane slash. Okay. Do that. Okay. Not Megan out. But Isabel. Do a. Can you do a delta split? Yes, you can. And finally, the coup de class. Tim. With the tiger charge. This should deal a lot of damage. I'm excited to see how much damage. That's nice. Fear you do. That is a nice amount of damage. That is a nice amount of damage. I like that. Isabel, not not so much. I'll, I'll be blatantly honest. Maybe that was not the most exciting damage. Same here, Tim. I I'm, I kind of hope that you would deal more than that. That that's a bit worrisome because Fear here did a lot more damage, and I am hoping that the rest of our party at least. You know, Kind of pick up the slack. All right, Megan, do your thing. Now. Megan, Megan. When I said do your thing, I meant kill him. I didn't mean die, because that is what we will do right, right now. I was kind of hoping that wouldn't happen. Because, yeah, that hurts. Oh, crap. Well, um, I was, I was hoping that Fear wouldn't die because she is our highest dealer of damage. There was a hope there that she would last a bit longer. Apparently not. Good job, Jesse. Good job, you deserve that level up. I really hope we don't lose this. I really hope we don't, because that would suck. Alright, let's... Let's just do that. Please, please tell me that you guys can deal more damage. Please, Edna, Edna, finish that vampire. People are killing things. It's happening all over again. What the heck? That that's not nice. Okay, I'm 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 splitting Flan and Sova. Flan, you're you're getting closer to Vyers because you are slightly less valuable than Sova here. Um, I'm also gonna get Isabel out again as the starter of this combo because I I really don't value her that much anymore. Just because I saw the amount of damage she did, that wasn't that impressive. I'll I'll be honest with you. I was hoping for a bit more. But oh well. But yeah, this this fight is tough. This this fight is legitimately tough. So here we go. Combo go. But yeah, Vyers is pretty much the exact same. I mean, it's nearly the end of the fight. I should have really talked about this earlier on, but oh well, it's fine. It's fine. Famous last words. But yeah, Vyers. It's pretty much the same as always. He has, I'm pretty sure, the same attacks as before, if I remember correctly. And... Please. Thank you. Thank you. We at least did 1500 damage here. We still need to do another 1500 damage. That was expected, sadly. <laughs> Oh, oh no. Okay. 
Oh, oh crap. Okay, Jesse is out of S. Wow. Wow, I already. Wow. Um. Um, there, there you go. Jesse is out of SP, and soon the horror will be as well, cause she, he's running low. Um, let's get Flawn a bit further away. Do another win. We should see a higher damage count this time around, purely because we have more people participating in the combo. Okay. We should be fine. But this was a hard fight. Because it's still very possible he could kill everyone. Very, very possible. Oof. Okay, 388. And we are dealing 1800 damage this time around. Which is not. Never mind. 2000 damage. Which is actually pretty good. Okay. We should be in the clear now. But yeah, ugh. Sovalev, okay. Okay, we will nuke him with everything we have. Let, we will do just, just that. Alright, Edna. Um, do a pretty, pretty raid, because why the hell not? And this should be fine. If not, we'll finish him off with the Sova, but yeah, I think this should be fine. I, I actually kind of want to give Etna the f killing blow, so I'll do that. She's the lowest level out of all the people alive. I think that's a good idea. Here I come. Spreading out the levels a bit. Die. Okay, 367. I'm my oh boy. Yeah, it doesn't get any easier from here. <laughs> uh, boy. Do, do we have healing items? I just want to make sure. Okay, we, ha we actually have quite a bit of healing items. That's pretty good, because we will... If you haven't used your healing, heal healing items healing items yet, you will definitely use them in in this... 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 This, <laughs> this final chapter. You will definitely... Definitely. And of course, Jesse gets the help. Um, kill. But that's fine. Alright. That's this stage done. I think that's pretty good. And 69,000. Again, pretty good. <laughs> Your teamwork is impressive. I commend you for having come so far. Huh? Where's the usual pathetic excuse of yours? Demons? Angels? Humans? Rather than learn about each other, they use words such as good and evil to differentiate themselves. That is the sad truth. Reminds me of something Master Lamington once said to me. However, through our battle, you have proved to me that regardless of our differences, all creatures can become one in spirit. As long as you bear that in mind, I am sure you can overcome any ordeal. Definitely wrong. Midboss is acting all serious. Y yeah, this must be a trap of some sort. Who are you, really? <laughs> As I said, I am the Dark Adonis. Farewell! <laughs> so, what was that all about?
Beats me. I think Mr. Midboss was trying to encourage us in his own way. He is a true rival indeed. Friendship between rivals. Were we all listening to the same conversation? Master Lamington, Master Lamington, we have an emergency. What is the matter? Traitor Flan has begun her invasion of Celestia, leading a battalion of demons! The day has finally come. We are prepared to intercept the demons! I will lead the troops myself, with your permission, of course. Very well. I shall leave the matter to you. But I want them captured unharmed. Do you understand? Yes, sir! Captured? Nonsense! I will kill them amidst the confusion. It is only a matter of time before I become a god. And that is when I, Volcanus, shall establish absolute peace in the universe! <laughs> And I, I think that is it for this episode. Um, I will. <laughs> oh, Tim, bacon. Oh, boy. Yeah, I might be doing some level grinding in between episodes purely because of the fact that level 32 is not gonna cut it. Uh, it's not. It's really not gonna cut it. They died so quickly. That wasn't even fun. Hell, even 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 Fier here who has. Pretty high defense, our highest HP, and our highest attack. Die. So yeah, yeah, we. I def. You definitely want to come prepared. You definitely want to come prepared here. So I will. I I will level grind the different episodes. So, well, we don't. We don't have too much of a you know painful experience moving forward so i think that's gonna be it for this episode um i have no idea where to leave off actually let's let's um why not this seems like a fine place just blocking the hallway anyway i hope you guys enjoyed this episode you know leave a like and subscribe if you want to do that fancy stuff and i hope to see you guys in the next one bye <laughs>